Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hope you're doing well. Oh, no, no, no. You're not interrupting. Don't worry. I'm actually very glad you're here. It's perfect timing because I'm starting a new series that's going to be shorter form, more content driven around the music industry and current events. So if you sit down, take a seat, I'd love to get things going. I'm, of course, Sherm. If you forget my name, it's on my hat. It's a great name tag and group conversation. But guys, this is a crazy time to be alive. No matter what your job is, no matter how your days have been changed, I think we can all agree that we're all in the same boat. And it felt like in a matter of a day or a few days, everyone's world changed. And I think it's really important, of course, to take this seriously, but it's also an opportunity for us to all get together virtually, however it might be, to support each other during these times of needs. You know, like I said, I'm gonna be talking about the music industry and current events and my things and our take on them as related to music. Today, we're gonna to have some fun and we're gonna have fun every single time I do this, but I think it's really important to address everything that's going on. Um, I'm no doctor, I'm no scientist, right? But we're all reading this stuff every single day. Right now, the coronavirus, we've got 330,000 cases, total 14,600 deaths. But here's the important thing, guys, 100,000 people have recovered, right? So we're working to fight this. It's really been incredible, everybody rallying together, but it's important that we do take this seriously. Um, I remember about two weeks ago, it was St. Patrick's Day weekend, right? And I made the decision to not go out. We canceled one of our events. Uh, it was heartbreaking at that point because it wasn't really real, even though it was, right? But these festivals hadn't been canceled yet, all these other things, I mean, I'm sure in one way or another, you've had to cancel some plan that you were looking forward to, right? I was gonna be going to Miami. I was so excited. It was gonna be my first winter music conference. I had interviews set up, I had all these other things. My girlfriend and I had to cancel a trip to Thailand in early May. Her graduation from IU Masters just got canceled too. I mean, my mom coaches lacrosse in Indiana, that's canceled. It's unbelievable. I'm working from home in my job. I work in logistics, so. It's obviously affecting me. I'm sure it's affecting you guys. And I want to know in the comments, you know, how have you guys been staying busy? Working from home is obviously not possible for everyone, depending what sort of industry you're in. I have a lot of friends who are, of course, DJs, work in the hospitality industry, cooks, you know, restaurant owners, venue owners, promoters. It's, it's impossible to work in that industry right now because people aren't allowed to go out. And there's been a lot of different conversations going on and how we can all support each other. And it's been unbelievable to see everyone in Chicago that I, of course, this is my network, so this is who I know most about, really rally together and say, hey, I need your help. And it's so important for us to acknowledge what's going on and actually help each other, right? I talk about it all the time in the podcast. There's a big difference between drive and ambition. Everybody's got to be driven right now to help each other. So if you guys look, wherever you guys are watching this from, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, there's going to be a link below for Chicago music industry people and also restaurants and venues to help donate. If you guys do have a little money to spare, I'm telling you, it goes a long way. So click that link, at least take a look, consider making a donation to one of these venues, one of these people, because it makes a world of difference. Now I've been staying busy, guys, is obviously coming up with a lot more content like this. Now it's gonna be ever evolving and I have a lot of fun things that I'm working on too, but I wanted to keep the content a little bit shorter. So we're gonna be a little bit quicker with these types of things. But I did want to tell you, I've been staying busy. Like I said, I have been doing my day job, but I had a little more time on my hands now, of course. I'm a big TV show guy, right? So we can crush through these stuffs on the weekend. We literally can't leave. So here's some recommendations I have for you guys. HBO, if you got HBO, got some respect for you. If you don't, I would definitely make the jump because its content is incredible. Just finished first season of The Outsider. Damn, that's a crazy show. It's based on a Stephen King novel. It's a little sci-fi, but it's not crazy sci-fi. So if you're looking for a little bit of thrill and a great plot, stick through it, great series. As a fellow Jewish man, I love Curb Your Enthusiasm more than anything. Please comment below if you love Curb Your Enthusiasm. Larry David's on fucking fire. And he is just on another level of funny to me. And if you guys like Curb Your Enthusiasm, you haven't had a chance to watch the season, definitely do it. The plot line is so great. I've had so much fun watching it. Netflix, I think everybody has Netflix at this point. If you haven't seen New Girl, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. My girlfriend and I love this show. Watch New Girl, it is absolutely hilarious. I love it. I think there's six seasons or so, so you can run through that. 
20, 30 minute episodes. Bang, bang, bang. Let's knock out six. The Witcher. If you didn't catch this wave, pretty sci-fi, based on a video game, actually. Really good acting, really good plot line. It's pretty fun to watch. Really entertaining, so I would definitely recommend that. Hulu. If you got Hulu, come on now. Broad City, classic Comedy Central show. I love Abby and Alana so much. Um, it's always funny. I'll drop Broad City jokes. They probably hit like 5% of the time, but when they do hit, when they do hit, they're awesome. Shout out to my Broad City fans out there. Also, Saturday Night Live. I'm so sad that it's having to stop right now along with everything else, but I'm a huge fan of the show. I was raised on Saturday Night Live. I remember one of the first things uh, from my childhood that I remember laughing so hard was watching my dad watch Chris Farley do the Chippendale skit with Patrick Swayze. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan. So it's fun to catch up on all episodes as well. You should watch the Donald Trump one. It's actually kind of ironic. As I'm sure you can imagine. Amazon 2, Jacked Ryan, or as it should be called, Jacked Ryan. Goddamn Jim from The Office. Tom Clancy, motherfucker. Like, this shit's insane. Really, really entertaining. Of course, good acting. It's pretty crazy to see actors in this comedy spotlight switch over, similar to Jason Bateman. Um, but I really liked it. It's really good. Just finished the first season. I'm excited for the second. He's got the beard in the second, so I'm assuming he's going to be a little more badass. But I want to know, guys, how have you guys been staying busy? Um, I've actually just been exploring a lot of new music when I'm working during the day. I've been finding all of these awesome Spotify playlists that I'm going to start sharing with you guys. Um, I'm also going to be making my own Spotify playlist for you guys to listen to. Different types of, you know, themes for the day, what you might be doing, a vibe, a feeling. I think that's what's so great about Spotify is being able to search a mood. And I think we can all agree that music has a color associated with it. So I'm thinking I'm going to start something with, oh, blue playlist, red playlist. It's going to be all different types of music. I'm really excited about that, too. As you can tell, I've had a lot of time on my hands. But also The Weeknd dropped a new album. That's fire. It's so good. I didn't realize how into drum and bass this guy is. Like, half the beats are drum and bass, and I started listening back to some of the old ones. Really good. I need to check out who his producers are. Obviously, they're top of the line, but such a good album, front to back, listen to it, fantastic. But guys, like I said, this is a little bit shorter of content. Every video is going to be 10 minutes or less. This one, obviously, a little bit longer because I just wanted to come out there and say it's incredible to see how many people are rallying together right now with the coronavirus, basically shutting down the world. But if you look at things in the grand scheme of, the grand scheme of time, right life is long if you look towards the future so right now yeah things suck and there are people that are suffering and the world is going to change in ways that we can't even imagine right now but it's so important that we all stick together we abide by the rules we stay updated we don't spread bad information and when you do talk about it we be positive because i know that there are going to be people that i know that you know they're going to be directly affected and it's important to be there so Call your family, call your friends, FaceTime. Let's take advantage of the technology that we say we hate so much sometimes because it's all up in our faces, right? If you wanna take some time on social media, do that. If you wanna catch up on that book that you thought you never had time, do that. Keep yourself busy, guys. Walk around, you're allowed to go outside, get some fresh air, wipe down your apartment every single day. It doesn't matter, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and again, follow the rules. I'm trying to. And yeah, I'm going a little stir crazy, so I'm talking to myself right now. Hopefully somebody watches this. But seriously, guys, let's all look towards the future. We're gonna get through this together. This is vlog number one, 001. Thank you guys for tuning in, I appreciate it.